This is the best Spider-Man game. I don't care what anyone says. This is the best one. This is my favorite. Since 2008, it's been my favorite. Nearly everything about it is perfect to me. The combat, the storyline, the cameos. Like, it's pretty much perfect. I don't know what more you could want. Except, the graphics are not super amazing. I think the only things that look really good are like the main characters themselves. I think they look pretty decent. But the actual world, yeah, it looks okay, but it doesn't look as good as it could. Because you have to keep in mind, you know, games came out before this that looked better. And also, games came out a couple months later that looked like insanely good like mirror's edge to this day looks like fantastic uh, but i think the graphics of this game are just due to like time constraints from what i read this was like a really rushed game and like they had like no budget no time and they still managed to make like in my opinion again the best spider-man game ever so i was thinking you know everything about this game is pretty much perfect to me except the graphics i think they could be slightly improved i think we could just add some more shadows some more modern effects and it would look pretty good so that's what i tried to do i've been working on a reshade preset for the last couple days, and I think I finally finished. This is the default game, right here. Then ready? One, two, three. What do you think about that? I think it looks pretty dang good. I think the biggest thing that like improves it a lot for me, look at um, the legs of Spider-Man and how they touch the ground. If you look at it off, there's like no shadows at all. It feels kind of disconnected. You turn it on, it feels way more grounded, like everything's living in the same world. So this effect, if you haven't seen this game, play it. Like, it's so good. <laughs> you can get it for, it's pretty expensive if you try to buy it. But if you know where to look, you know, you can get it uh, for E99. Should I go through every single effect one by one? This one is like adding like most of the world shadows. Like if you look at this box in the background, with it off, everything's a lot more dull. See, this is adding the shadows on like the, this is mostly targeting just the main guy. Uh, also, we got the depth haze. This adds just some fog, some atmosphere. Then I have a little bit of ambient light. I don't know if it even shows up, but it's like just like where like there's bright area. I feel like the bone mapping. This just makes everything like a little bit. It might be a little bit heavy in all honesty. I kind of don't like it, but at the same time with it off, everything's just so flat. I was like, there needs to be something. You know what I mean? But anyway, what I'm having to do with Lightroom, basically the normal game, if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell at night. But especially during the daytime, it's like a yellow tint. So what I'm doing is temperature tab. So basically, if I have this at zero, this is sort of more like the yellow tint. As I move it this way, the image is turning more blue. As I turn it this way, it's turning more orange. So the game is already kind of yellow, so I want to move it away from yellow. So that's what I'm trying to do to balance out the image a little bit more, to get it just more like a plain white. And then on top of that, we can throw on a LUT. Now this one I got from this uh, movie pack and I'm using the Game of Thrones color pack, uh, but you can go through and pick whatever you want if you find a different one if you like. Uh, Technicolor, this kind of just like, you see what it does. And on top of that, I added Vibrance because uh, with all of these on, the game gets pretty dull. Then I have a tiny bit of bloom. Again, I have this tuned just for the bright spots. Some light depth of field. You can use the other ones if you want. I think. I'm assuming by light depth of field, it just means like lighter on your computer. So you'll get more frames. Then some D-banding, SMAA. This will just clean up any like jaggies. Uh, on top of that, I have a sharpen. And for the final one, DELC sharpen. I love this. I put this on every game. It basically just sharpens texture. So if you look at like, look at the ground. As I raise it, it's going to get sharper. I usually put it around like 0.55. Then here's all the settings. If you would like to... Mimic it and have the look for yourself. Now with that out of the way, play the game. <laughs> and just the web swinging this. So much fun. The physics of this are actually based on like a real pendulum. So like there's a real weight to it. If you fall for a long time and then catch the rope, there's like a more speed to it. Another criticism of this game, a lot of people don't seem to like the suit. Me? I actually really like the suit. I think it looks really cool. I think I love the lenses. It reminds me of like a, the older Spider-Man designs a little bit. I want to get to the daytime so I can show you some daytime shots because the only problem is, I think the only way to change the time of day is to progress the story. So I guess we can do the mission. This is one of those games you just got to play. Like if you don't play this game, you're missing out so much. Especially if you're a Spider-Man fan like me. I love the, okay, I don't want that kind of shot. Even the cutscenes, like they just look so updated. Let's see before and after. Again. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's daytime now. Oh, you see that move? How you do it? 
See, regular Spider-Man, he would not do that. Let's use the black suit though, I don't wanna get the gameplay too stale. Like look, I killed the guy like two hits. Makes everything so easy. Wait, you can throw cars in the suit too. Blow up the whole building. Like look at that effect. There are new games that don't go that crazy with the effects. Dang, okay, this thing shoots kind of crazy. You want know to throw your own, own your, your own guy's car at you. Okay, let's get a good angle. I feel like this guy is always... Here could be cool. Get right here. It's the shadows that help so much. I think it just looks incredible like this. Yeah, like they actually look like more real than the new one. Oh, look at the RTGI here. Look how it shades underneath the benches. Oh, let me, let me defeat him. I think it really is this RTGI that's like carrying so much of the effect. Not this, like it just makes everything like have so much more depth. Here we go. Oh, what? It was too weak. They shot him? They killed the guy I was gonna kill? Yeah! It looks very cartoony without it. Like the default game. But then with it, it's like... I, I like it. I really like it. I wonder how they put these down. These little tokens. I wonder if they had to place it by hand. That would be so tedious. Because I think... There's like over 2,000 of them in the city. And also like, if I don't find all of them, what do I do? Here we go. Can you do that move in any other Spider-Man game? Didn't think so. See that? Like the little like, there's, there's just so much like little details that you would expect to just like not be done. Especially with like the time constraint they have, but like, it's there. I think this one, it's way better if you get them in the air and then do the- Oh! Look at that, even just that building right there. Look how much of a difference that makes. If you're like me, and you don't have a PS5, but you want to play the new Spider-Man game, this is the best you can get. And honestly, it actually looks kind of good. Like, it looks surprisingly, like, it surprisingly fits. The black suit, too. I think you got to use this one, in my opinion, just because of the lenses. There's another one that looks, I think it looks really cool, but I just think this one, the lenses, it fits more. That has that mean look. But I think the crazy thing is with it off, the suit just looks way too bright and colorful to me. But with it on... It fits in so well. I'm gonna leave all the mods and stuff in the description in case you want them. Like, look at the texture detail on that. It looks excellent. This one too. It's really good. I, again, I think they really fit in the game. And I actually kind of prefer this a little bit too because the lenses on this one are like, they're still angled and like a little bit like mean looking, but it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more friendly looking. I like that contrast between the suits. Another weird thing is like, He's always lit. Like, I'm behind a wall. I should be, like, in complete shadow. How realistic this looks. Like, before, it's like, oh, yeah, that's a video game. Turn this on. That real life? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not that like. But it, it's surprisingly just... It's crazy what some shadows can do. It's how much better it looks. In my opinion, again, you might not like this. You might like the, um... The dang Mr. Beast thumbnail where it's, like, cranked up like this. Which, you know, again, I think it looks fine. I wonder... Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, LB, you can climb the web. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and look at that. Yeah, you grab the building a little bit. There's just such cool, like, little animation details. This looks surprisingly good, too. I don't know. I see, I see thumbnail potential in all of these. Oh, the car had to pass when I was getting my screenshot. What happens if I attack the police? Oh, 
Oh, that move went kind of crazy. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. The black suit made me do that. It also made me do this. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I just killed everybody. I gotta save somebody now. Come on, dude. And then I gotta turn to red suit because I'm doing good thing. Yep, plus 10 red points. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, I was kind of the one that did that, but... You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oh! I almost drove him all the way to the ground. What is she doing? I've played this game so many times. I know all the dialogue, okay? But a lot of the missions are just like, kill 10 guys. Uh, beat 20 mechs like it'll be like stuff like that and it's like any other game that would be i'd be like are you serious right now like this is so like lazily done this is so stupid what am i doing but this game i'm like i'm celebrating when it gives me missions like that like combat's just so fun oh look at this oh <laughs> i'm sorry a beautiful slide though let's see what's in the secret base this place has all the telltale signs of a secret base. Is this your new line of work? Vulture boss fight. Uh -oh. I love this boss fight so much because like, you can do it all in the air. Like, watch. I'm, I'm not gonna touch the green. <laughs> I don't think his mouth moved. I kind of like that. There's like there's a charm to these older games, where it's like not everything has to be like perfectly cinematic like a movie. It's like they're games. You know? They're just meant to be fun. <laughs> and I, this design, like the character designs in this game, are so good. Electro, Vulture, Venom. Like there's such like unique takes on the characters, but they still like it's like oh yeah that makes sense how it would be like that. <laughs> He blows away his own guys too. Quick time event. I don't miss these though. Oh, he's my friend now? Interesting. I don't know why he'd join me after that. <laughs> okay, let's get some final shots and then we'll end the video. Oh, that right there is perfect. Or I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. I hope I illustrated why this game is so good. You gotta play it. Play it with the reshade. Get some mods going. Get some cool suits that you like. And just play the game, man. It's so fun. It's so, so fun. You'll have a great time. Even if you don't like Spider-Man, like, it's just a fun game. Even if you don't like these kind of games, you're gonna like it. I don't think I met a single person that was like, Oh, Web of Shadows? Mm, it was okay. No, everybody loves this game. The best one. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm editing this video right now. I think I found a ghost or something like... Okay, right here. Listen. Denying. Negative 1104. What is Denying. that? Is that me? Denying. Negative... Denying. Sounds like it's saying, because I, I am? Denying. Denying. Negative. This temperature tab. So basically. Denying. Negative one. one. What? What is this? Denying. I don't know. Negative. I'm gonna have to throw some sage around my house or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's the end. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.